Doctor, are you a physician licensed to practice medicine in the state of New York? Yes, I am. When were you so licensed? 1995. Are you so licensed in any other states? Yes, in New Jersey. When were you licensed in New Jersey? 2001. Doctor, can you tell the jury about your educational background as it concerns medicine? In other words, where did you attend medical school? Defendant's counsel, I'll concede the doctor's qualifications. Plaintiff's counsel, no thanks. The court, the concession is declined. Continue with your examination, sir. I went to medical school in New Delhi, India. Did you then, <coughs> then pursue a, presi a presidency program? For a residency program? Yes, at Stony Brook University. And that was in what specialty? Internal medicine. After Stony Brook, did you have any additional medical training? Defendant's counsel objection. The court overruled not medical training. Did you go on for any further medical education? I did a master's of science. Now, after your residency, did you go into private practice? Yes. Where were you working at that time? I was working with a group that has had various names over the years. What was the name of the group when you joined it? At that point it was called Doctor's Office Center. What year was that? Uh, in July of 1995. How long did you work at Doctor's Office Center? I worked there up until December of 1997. What did you do then? As of January of 1997, I started with Superior pl Health Plans, so-called, and I was a medical inspector there. How long did you stay with them? Until July of 2000. Thereafter, did you take a position elsewhere? Yes. Where was that? With Smith Klein. Is that a pharmaceutical outfit? Yes. Is that where you are presently? That's right. Defendant's counsel, judge, can we get to the cause of action? Plaintiff's counsel, I am finished with the qualifications of the doctor, Your Honor. During the time you were working at Smith Klein, did you also see patients from time to time? Yes, I did. Where did you see patients? Uh, defense counsel, objection, irrelevant, the court overruled, I have always had a practice on the side. Do you do any medically related volunteer work? Defense counsel, objection, immaterial, the court, I'll allow it, yes. What do you do? I volunteer with the American Lung Association and I've been doing that for three or four years now. Did there come a time in or about November of, or December of 1995 when you saw the plaintiff in this case? Yes. Do you remember when that was? May I look at the hospital chart? Yes, it was November 28, 1995. What date is that in years of when the patient had just had surgery in this case? It was the first post-operative day. How was it that it came about that you treated the plaintiff at the hospital? I was a physician at the hospital, so patients of the medical group I belonged to got admitted into the hospital and have been with me. Doctor, I just want to clear something up. You said you were a phys physician at the hospital. You were not a hospital employee, were you? No. You were employed by the group at that time that you belonged to? That's right. Doctor, what type of surgery did the plaintiff have? He had a part of his left lung removed. When you say the patient for the first time or saw, did he have any complaints of any kind? He had some pain at the site of surgery. Is that the typical type of pain that a patient will have after surgery such as this? Defendant's counsel, objection, irrelevant and immaterial, if your honor please. The court overruled. Did that examination include looking at the lower extremities? Yes. Can you tell me exactly what you did in that respect? I have a known practice of doing a physical exam of the lower extremities, and that includes asking for pain as well as looking for any redness or dissolution or discoloration. Defendant's counsel, it may be a known practice, but did she do it in this particular case, Your Honor? The court, yes, confine yourself to this case, please. Doctor, referring to your note on page 74 of the hospital chart, there is a reference to pneumatic tubes. What are those? Those are external devices that are actually put on the lower legs of patients. Should they be used in the case of a normal patient who is walking around and doing good? No. Patients like you and we are ambulatory, so the circulation doesn't need a push. What about the venous system? If you are referring to the veins, they need sometimes to be pushed back into the heart and the muscles of the leg some 
sort of contraction, you know. Would you say, as a result, it acts like a pump? Defendant's counsel objection. Leading and suggestive. The court, yes, let the witness do the testifying. Plaintiff's counsel, sorry, Your Honor, I will withdraw the question. Is there anything else to help the circulation in the legs? Yes, there are compression stockings that are wrapped around the legs and that help in the circulation. How do they do that? Well, they sort of inflate and deflate from time to time and keep the muscles of the lower legs active. Would you say it prevents stagnation? Yes, that is the point of it, to keep pushing the blood into the heart. The doctor, did you make a prognosis in this case? Very, very poor. You mean that the patient's condition was such that you did not think he would recover? Yes, in addition to which the patient was depressed, which didn't help matters at all. Uh, that's fine. Oh, you're going at 200 these days. <laughs>